So what is it that we actually do as physical anthropologists? Well, it depends on the questions we are interested in answering. Some physical anthropologists specialize in forensics and can identify human remains. Others have experience in molecular genetics and use DNA to understand human variation and how humans are related to other primates. Some physical anthropologists study the biology of living humans. Other physical anthropologists study the bones of past populations. Sometimes these remains are recent enough that they are still real bone. Other times they have been in the ground long enough to turn to rock. These are called fossils. Other anthropologists, called primatologists, study non-human primates. Studying our closest living relatives gives those scientists, like Jane Goodall, some insight into why humans have evolved the way we have. It is difficult to define precisely what a physical anthropologist does because there are so many ways to study human biology. One thing that all physical anthropologists rely on is knowledge of sciences other than anthropology. In this way, anthropology is interdisciplinary. A good anthropologist works with scientists in other fields. Those studying human fossils work with paleontologists and geologists. Those interested in human heredity work with molecular biologists and chemists. Primatologists work with ecologists and biologists. Anthropology is not an isolated field, but it is one that relies quite heavily on knowledge from many scientific disciplines. Anthropology can also have an enormous impact on our everyday lives. After the tragic events of September 11, 2001, a team of forensic anthropologists sifted through the rubble, looking for human remains. In all, these anthropologists recovered 20,000 bone fragments of roughly half of almost 3,000 individuals killed. Think about that for a moment. Anthropologists were able to use tiny fragments of bone to identify those killed on 9-11 and to provide some closure for the families of the victims. By understanding human anatomy, those anthropologists were able to determine whether the remains were from a child or from an adult, a male or a female. They could reconstruct size and ethnicity and even use previously skeletal injuries to identify individuals. In many cases, DNA was extracted from the bone to assist with identification. In this class, we'll spend time on DNA and how DNA is used as a tool for understanding human origins and evolution.